big things come in little packages. This is the X-Tool F1. It is a smaller laser, right? It's very compact, but that is actually one of its assets. Uh, so this unit right here is portable, right? I could take it inside, do a project. I could just take, you know, the fume extractor inside. You don't have to be in a wood shop, right? Lots of possibilities here. This machine is pretty incredible for its speed. Uh, when it comes to engraving, there's not many units that can engrave as fast as it as this one. So it engraves super fast. It also has two different laser heads uh, incorporated, which opens up more materials that you can engrave. Uh, so some of my other lasers, whether it's a CO2 or a diode laser, I may be a little bit more limited on some of the materials. So um, some pretty cool things that you can do with this unit. And don't let the size fool you. You can still do larger pieces uh, with like a slide extension, like here, you can use the rotary, all kinds of possibilities. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the features uh, some of the projects I did, some of the settings, you can see how I went about some ideas here. Uh, but also stay tuned, there are some crazy deals right now. Yes, Xtool did send it to me. Yes, I have an affiliate link where I get a little bit, um, so you can check that out. But there's some great deals. Uh, and if you're looking for expanding your small business, uh, maybe do some some branding, you wanna do some hats, some patches, business cards, metal, all kinds of, oh my gosh, so many things. Um, that There's some great potential here, or maybe you're just a hobbyist and you just wanna have fun. So many cool things that you can do with this. Here you have it, X-Tool F1. So first up, the packaging is fantastic. Um, all kinds of gadgets and gizmos tucked away. Uh, it's packed really well. Uh, I repurposed the foam for lots of different projects as well. But there's also a material pack in there, so you can get started right away um, engraving all kinds of different things. Setup is a breeze. This is probably the most intuitive of all their machines. Not that the other ones aren't easy to use, but you're up and running in no time and it is fast. This is real time. This is not sped up at all. This is real time, uh, showing the IR, showing the blue, those different modules. Uh, they're both equally fast. And so here, just a scoring profile on these aluminum anodized business cards. Uh, these come in the material pack. It's just super fast. So lots of really cool applications here. Uh, these are just kind of fun just to get started. One of the first things I did uh, where, you know, it can have like, you know, inspirational little things to carry in your wallet or, you know, to gift. Um, some really cool designs online of, of people using these to make a big mosaic, uh, all kinds of other things. You can also go a lot more detailed. So this one is sped up uh, here. If you want to get a little bit more detailed, uh, the text wasn't didn't take very long. Uh, but you can get some really, really good detail on these. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer, but just a couple minutes. Uh, but most of the time, it's like 10 seconds. Uh, but you can see lots of detail there, so some cool potential. This right here, this material is scratch paper uh, or photo paper, and so this came in the material pack, but you can get, uh, buy bigger sheets. But again, you can get some really cool detailed uh, images and some, some really cool possibilities here. And so... I mean, just look at that possibility. So this is like that scratch paper with those little sticks, you know, those rainbow pads that kids use. Here's a great example of how this can quickly batch out a project. So I'm a teacher, and so I wanted to uh, engrave some dry erasers uh, for my class. So found these wooden blanks and just, you know, went ahead and engraved table numbers, a little mountain design on each, and I did these in no time. Super quick, super fast. Uh, so batching is a definite possibility here. But engraving all kinds of things. Again, this is a real-time video uh, just showing real-time with that blue laser how I can quickly engrave these keychains. So just pre-purchase keychains. I believe this wood is beech, um, but just a, a little hardwood keychain. It engraves. It's done. I don't even have to add finish. Nothing. There's not even any soot, any cleanup that needs to happen. Um, so that's pretty quick. All right, tumblers. I have gone deep with tumblers. I had no idea how much fun they would be to personalize these. Uh, so here's just one of my old water bottles, just kind of messing around here. I'm using those, you know, one, two, three blocks uh, to kind of hold my water bottle in place. Here you can see, obviously, this one is too big. It's oversized, but I could still engrave it. Here is a smaller one uh, for, for one of my sons, and the whole thing can fit inside. And like, hey, Dad, can you add, you know, Daniel Tiger or Mickey Mouse to it? And so I love doing projects with my kids, and my kids are loving the laser. So if you've got grandkids or nieces, nephews, kids, um, there's some fun possibilities there, as well as the, the small business 
a potential or the hobby. Uh, here I'm using the rotary attachment. So that is not required, but you could use the rotary attachment to get some full uh, wrap engravings. And uh, here you can see this little wine tumbler. That's a great option. Um, so the shield, you know, I can lower it all the way uh, with the rotary. I don't need it. I'm just wearing some glasses here just for that light. Uh, but lots of possibilities with the rotary. When I use the rotary uh, and for my settings, I usually do two passes. So I do the blue light laser uh, to get most of the material removed. And then I use the IR laser, a second pass, just kind of clean it up. And I have like hardly any scrubbing afterwards. So I've done a lot of tumblers and my best results from all the machines is definitely a bit on the F1. So you can get some really, really cool tumblers, lots of potential uh, ideas here. All right, some coaster, quick coaster on some cork. Uh, so if you want to batch out a bunch of cork coasters, you could do that. I also did a bunch of slate coasters uh, on the F1. I just forgot to film it, of course. Uh, but anyway, coasters, quick work. Uh, I want to do like these wooden discs. This is one of the pieces that comes in the material pack. And you get some cool results there, a little live edge, uh, these wooden cookies. Um, that's a potential there. You can source these online and get get a bunch at a time. Some more possibilities. All right, engraving, engraving, engraving. Lots of projects so far with engraving. Really, that's what this unit is so great for, is engraving. The speed is, is crazy. However, if you only have one machine, right, you don't have some of the other machines, and you want to see, can it also cut? Yes, it can also cut. So I didn't do a lot of cuts. Here's a little test cut that we did uh, using the slide extension. So you can see it does cut well. It is a little bit limited in that, but there is still definitely cutting possibilities. So check it out how we can do some cutting uh, with the slide extension. So here I'm using the slide extension. Now this is not required for cutting. I'm just doing a larger piece, a wider piece. So it automatically is feeding it through back and forth so I don't have to reset it each time. It is super easy and intuitive to use. Um, so if you wanna do bigger nameplates, if you wanna do wider pieces, this is a great, um, a great add-on accessory to add. Uh, but if you wanna do some cutting, um, here you can see there's not a lot of soot or char. There's actually less than some of my other machines, but most of my other machines, I have to do a little sanding and clean up. So it, it still can cut. Um, however, for me, I'm primarily using this for engraving. So here I'm using the slide extension to do one of these little catch-alls. So doing a little little engraving in here, and this could be a catch-all for you know keys, wallet, change, or whatnot. Um, possibilities endless here, right? You could use this to make a tray for Yahtzee or other dice games, uh, but get some good results. You know, there's lots of woods like this, like acacia wood or whatever. That's pretty cheap, pre-made. Um, you can get some good results. Speaking of like acacia wood, uh, here is a, a charcuterie board. I think I got this one. Yeah, I got this one at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's kind of a narrower one. It actually fit perfect on the slide extension. But if you want to make your own uh, or find a local woodworker to make you some boards like this size, and then you can go ahead and engrave it, customize it for whatever you want to do. So some cool possibilities there. Leather patches or fake leather, leatherette, laserable leather. Uh, this patch came uh, with the pack, uh, with the, the X Tool F1 material pack. Um, some of these have some really cool effects where if you remove just enough, you get a silver effect. So you always want to do a test file or a, a test a cut. There are some preset settings uh, from X Tool on the machine, pretty easy. But these ones have the adhesive already on it. So if you want to use these like on a, a hat press and lots of possibilities there. Okay, the rings were surprisingly so much fun. Um, so that's the cool thing about this laser. It has the IR module, which allows for etching and engraving on metal. So this is like a stainless steel with some painting. And again, you can mess around with the settings for how much you remove, uh, but you can get a cool effect. Or you can go with this one. Uh, this is a stainless steel as well, but I just slowed the speed down way low and I made the one ring, right? Uh, Sauron would be so jealous, right? Oh my gosh, I couldn't help myself, sorry. Anyway, lots of possibilities here with metal. Just play around with the settings. You can get some really cool effects. A lot of people love the F1 uh, for doing jewelry and doing customization for jewelry and charms and necklaces. Uh, so here, I just tried out a, another one, just kind of messed around with the settings. I could get a lot darker here if I slowed down the speed. But um, that's pretty cool, right? So for some jewelry applications, uh, some customization, that is a great, a great application for uh, the F1. 
Another thing that was really fun was doing these brass coins, doing challenge coins. Uh, so you could do brass, you could do nickel. I've tried some other uh, metals as well. But here you get this really cool effect. This took a lot more steps. Uh, I'll leave a link down below to a video that gave me some tips on how to get this cool layered effect where it looks almost 3D. It actually required multiple passes. But there's lots of possibilities here with challenge coins and other metal as well. All right, gonna slow down here, give you a little real-time action of with my cutting boards. So I make cutting boards, I'm a woodworker, and here I'm showing how you can engrave like in a unique way. So here I have the edge of my cutting board and I have the I have the F1 open right now. I'm slowly closing the shield, right? It's in process, so if you ever leave it open because you wanna see it or you're filming it, uh, just be careful you don't jostle it too much. But here it's just propped up and I just removed the plate there and I can engrave underneath. And so this is really cool. Uh, lots of possibilities here for uh, oversized items or larger items, but definitely a great application um, if you are a maker. Uh, I'll talk more about some of those applications shortly, but uh, here you can just see, you know, you can actually see the software running at the same time. The software is so intuitive. This one uses Xtool software. I'm using their XCS software, free download, easy to use. You can also use Lightburn software as well. But um, again, you can mess around with your own settings, do test files. You can burn it darker. Uh, you can burn it deeper. Uh, once I add some wood finish on that, it'll darken up. All right, this is kind of crazy. I took it and I'm putting it up against my workbench. So if you wanna put this up against the side of your house, you could engrave it. It's a little bit heavy and you gotta be careful with it. Again, you're gonna mess around with the settings. I should have gone a lot darker, a slower speed, uh, more power, that kind of thing. But that that's a possibility. So that's kind of cool. Another application of, you know, engrave wherever on anything. So the possibility of engraving your own work is a great thing for me. Obviously, as a woodworker, right, I make cutting boards, and I could engrave on the side here. Uh, usually, I don't want an engraving on the front, on the business side. Maybe I could do it on the back side. But here, I could do it on the side, right? I don't have to get a branding iron or mess around with that. So that's a cool option. Um, some other things, maybe it's harder to engrave. Well, this unit can do it, right? You can just kind of move it around. There's actually a lot of potential with this one. But what if you aren't a woodworker or you're not a maker, or you're not like a ceramic artist, you don't need to make anything. Everything right here was stuff I already purchased. So I didn't make any of this stuff, I just engraved this stuff. And so this unit is great for that, where you can just buy pre-made things. Uh, there's pre-made blanks. Um, you know, if you don't wanna do lots of cutting on this and you just wanna engrave, you can buy pre-made ornaments. Uh, you can buy pre-made, you know, coasters, different sizes, and then you just engrave it and you customize it. So um, all of these, most of these, I'll leave links down below for where I found a lot of these, but you can just search online so many things, really easy to find, dollar store, right? Anywhere. Anyway, some ideas, some more ideas. Let's look at a couple more uh, engraving ideas and, and possibilities uh, before wrapping this thing up. So you really will find yourself wanting to engrave just about anything. Uh, we found these dishes or these little things for the bathroom at Ikea and thought we'd mess around, little ceramic with like a powder coating, paint coating. So cool, right? Lots of possibilities. You can customize everything, uh, class some stuff up. You can also remove rust from pennies. Uh, this is just a, a cool thing I saw online, thought I would try it out. So there's just some really cool applications, especially having that IR module. Um, here, I can remove some rust from tools. So maybe that's a fun thing. So there, there's definitely small business opportunities, but also just the hobbyist you know, the STEM teacher in me, uh, you know, wanting to do some cool stuff, showing my kids. So some cool things you can mess around. It's a laser. Lasers are cool. Uh, but metals are pretty fun. You can also do stone, uh, right? Earlier I mentioned how I did the slate coasters. Uh, slate coasters are really cool, but you can do rocks. Uh, on these, I just sprayed a, a clear coat of lacquer first, and then you get a cool, cool effect. Different stones, different colors, so some possibilities. 
All right, the laser is for anyone. This is my wife. Uh, she's an ER nurse, and you know sometimes she helps a little bit with projects, but usually not as much. But she jumped in and she made a ton of uh, custom pens for other nurses in the ER. Uh, so she made a bunch of customized pens uh, for all the different nurses that she worked with for ER Nurse Appreciation Week, and did some really cool things. But it's so easy, very intuitive. She found it really intuitive, and we even set it up inside the house. So. Again, this can move around, it's mobile. That is a great feature for it. So that's a selling point. If you're gonna do a craft show, you can take it with you to a craft show, sell it there. But here's you know, some of the pens she did, and these were so quick, about 10 seconds a pen. Uh, and she did a customized one for each one. She's done a couple hundred now uh, for other applications as well. So cool applications here uh, with, with the pens and with the F1. So lots of different things you can make. This is just a starting point, uh, but gives you some ideas of what this machine is capable of and uh, maybe gives you, you have some inspiration. So F1. And there you have it, the X-Tool F1. Pretty cool laser, this is really awesome. So I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was helpful if you're considering purchasing it or if you already have one and you're looking for some ideas for inspiration. If you are interested in purchasing this, we do have an affiliate link, uh, right? We do get a small portion from Xtool uh, with each purchase. So you can uh, look at the description. There's also some codes, some great deals. Check out those codes down below to save you some money. Um, and again, if you're interested in buying, use that code, that'd be great. Or don't, that's fine too. Uh, there's also some other lasers that Xtool uh, has, has made and has produced and I've gotten some videos out recently. So we have the S1, a brand new one, pretty cool. So you can check out that video or the P2. Some other lasers if you're like, oh, I don't know what's the best laser for me. So check out those videos uh, before making your purchase. Um, or get some other ideas of other projects. Again, the projects you see here was just a start, right? I can definitely make bigger things, but it gets it gets you started. So uh, if this video provided value for you and you wanna see more videos like this, I've been doing a lot of laser content recently because it's a lot of fun. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to see more videos like this, um, as well as some other woodworking, just maker uh, fun projects as well. Thank you for watching and uh, until next time, take care.